You're going to be mad at me. Now why? All these live sessions we've been doing. Yeah. I forgot to click start streaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, para peeps, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Paranormal Live. Wait, Our Haunted Travels, Let's Talk Paranormal Live. It's been a while. Sorry. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. I'm your co host, Marianne Donnelly. How are you guys doing today? Yes, it's been a minute. Yes. Weeks. Well, we went on a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but not in the studio. No, not in the studio. It has been a while for the studio. It's been a while. Yeah. Halloween. What? Did we go on after? No, Halloween was the last one. The or last Halloween. one we did in the studio was I Halloween. I think so. That's the crazy. last live stream wow. in the studio. Wow. How have you guys been doing? <laughs> Hopefully you've been well. Yeah. Sid's here today. We haven't gotten to see Sid. He had changed his work schedule and things like that. So he's here today. So All right. he picked a good day to come back. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, so in today's live stream, and let's talk paranormal, we're going to be talking about Christmas traditions. We're going to share some of ours. We want to find out yours, and maybe we got some new ones that we could share with you guys. That's right. But before we get rolling on the topic, you know, if you guys have seen our live streams before, we got a little bit of housekeeping we got to do. All right, so yeah. while we're doing that, if everybody who's in chat, Please check in and let us know where you are from. Yeah, it, some of some of these peeps have been here before because they were already checking in, saying where they were from. They so knew. They know the routine. Yeah. They know the yeah. routine. So we've got some Ireland folk in the house today, and I know we have uh, Sid from way down in. Uh, uh, she don't know Sid. Oh, ah, she Sid, forgot I knew, Sid. I, I know where it's at too. Oh, Sid, where where are you from? Uh, India, right? All right, let's talk about today's show supporters. Supporters, supporters, supporters. Is that my cue? That's your cue. <laughs> Today we have Twelve Night Horror, Suzanne Least, author Ellie, and our Patreon supporter Be You Be Unique. So, can you please tell these fine folks how they could become a supporter? Well, for you to become a producer supporter, you're going to need to follow us on Twitter. You're going to like, retweet, and comment on our posts as often as you can. Be in the top three, and you could be a producer supporter. And then, of course, you could also be a Patreon supporter of ours for $5 or more or a month five dollars or more a month and then you would also become one of our producer supporters well i think you've done that before yeah but for some reason i couldn't say or a, a, a month <laughs> that's okay all right so just a disclaimer we are live so i apologize ahead of time if i make a mistake but marianne is here to correct me for those of you who do not know who we are, we're Sean and Mary and Donnelly. We've already said that once, but we are owners of PanicD.com, DarkShadowGhostTours.com, and on our channel we produce videos about locations out of the PanicD.com database. And we cover the history, the ghost stories, the folklore, and these are locations that we have been to, over 200 of them. So we also put in our personal experiences when we were there whether we found anything interesting and why we believe those places could be haunted. So if that is something that interests you, history, paranormal information, sometimes we do forensic type videos with our uh, behind the hauntings where we produce, you know, present it like a case. If you like that kind of stuff right now, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified next time we put out a video. That's who we are. That's right. See, I didn't lose it. No, you, it. you got it down. Yeah. All right. Now, if everybody who's in the stream right now, all 17 of you wonderful people, if you share this out on your social media, out on the internet, the sphere, YouTube sphere, 
Twitter sphere, Facebook, whatever. Tell people, hey, we are live. Panic D videos is back live. Let's talk paramo. Let's see if we get some more people to the party. All right. All right. So okay. just just no, so you don't know, don't say who's here because that section's coming. Just so up. you know. All right. Polly says, "Who are you guys, and what have you done with the real Sean and Marianne?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've been abducted. We've been abducted. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, we've been abducted. Okay, so now it is time that we can do the roll call. Okay. Well, I know that that is wrong. because uh, Yeah, there's you're all, way wrong. There's a whole slew full of people who have literally just said things to us, and uh, they're not listed on there. All right, so maybe you need to refresh. I'm going to refresh, and I'll come While back While you're refreshing, you I'll bring up chat. I'll right. see what's you going do on. That. I will pull that roll oh. call participant. That's a much better there list. There we go. That's a much better All list. Right. All right. All right. So I have Budget Bushcraft, Colorado Martini. We missed we missed our uh, opportunity with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The dates got away from us. Uh, Joanne Reagan, Annette Reagan, Joy Stewart, uh, Kay Johnston, uh, Panic D Videos. Wow. Shocker. <laughs> Paranormal Tech, Polly Vlogs, Sid Hearth, Summer Bishop, Tre uh, Teresa Gregory, The Haunted Explorers, The Lady Vamp, and Timber Hill Redbones. Timber Hill, no, it's Timber Hill Redbone Coonhounds. I'm oh. sorry, I like the old <laughs> name. I'm keeping it that way. Okay. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Oh. However, if you guys would do Marianne and I a huge favor, and please say hello to Kay Johnson and Annette Reagan in chat, because that's our mamas. They're watching us. Both mommies are Both here. Both mamas are here watching us make fools of ourselves. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Colorado, Colorado Martini. I have like about... 60 different Christmas outfits and things, but getting him to dress in one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll talk yeah. about our past <laughs> month and a half craziness here in a second. All right. So, um, those of you, a lot of you guys have been here before. Yeah. We do have some new people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. Nature. But normally with our Let's Talk Paranormal, we give something away. We do. We haven't done that in a while. I know. We haven't been around. We haven't. Yeah. So with the holiday season, we are going to be giving away some of our holiday Christmas books. Ooh. These aren't related to the paranormal stuff, but this is a book that we wrote, what did you say, 2012? 2012. Okay. There it is right there. The Elf Workers Union Handbook. Okay. You want to tell them how this was written? Sean got <laughs> sick and he laid on the couch for three days. Yeah, I was I was really sick. Yeah. Really, really sick. And I got this idea about this book and knocked it out literally in three days. Yeah. Now, this book has things in it, like the workshop flow chart, how things are actually produced in Santa's workshop. It has in here the approved Christmas song list. It has in here... Uh, that was my country. Break in lunch times. <laughs> how it's mandatory to take a break because elves are all constantly working. That's and right. They have They're to just so hyper. They have to work all the time. You, you know, and how to bid on jobs in the warehouse in the North Pole. It, it's all in here. It's the union handbook for the elf workers. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to be giving these away the next few weeks leading up to Christmas. But they'll be signed by us. And we're going to try something different. What? Nothing. Go ahead. Well, you're like, Ugh. no, go ahead. Okay. We're going to try something different. Here's what we're going to do. Now, in the past, we said, send us an email. Shoot us an email. Well, we're trying to build up followers, not necessarily supporters, but followers on our Patreon. Okay? You can follow our Patreon without being a paid supporter. That is where we are posting links that back up our videos. We want to build that up. Okay, so here's how you enter to win this book if you're interested. Go and follow us on Patreon, okay? Patreon.com, Panic D Videos. And I have a post out there, which I can show you, I believe. Let me see if I can bring that up. That looks something like... Oh... Uh, 
Screen, screen. Sorry, folks, it's been a while. I gotta remember how to do this. Well, while he's doing All right, that. there we go. No, oh, no, no, you got, got it. it. Okay. Got okay. So here's okay. the post right there on our Patreon page. Okay. You'll see it on there once you follow us. And I think our little man, the Nightbot, is giving you a link if you need help with that on how you can actually follow us on Patreon. What we need you to do is reply to that post with, I'll bring that back. Hashtag UEA. Hashtag UEA. If you reply to that post next week when we go live, I'm pretty sure we're going live next week. I think we're back on schedule. I think so too. Um, we will take all those replies, put them in the digga 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 and pick out a name, somebody will win the book. All right. Okay. What were you going to say about the book? Oh, I was going to say my favorite part of the book is in the back where they have all the, you know, how to do an elf grievance, you know, if you think that you didn't get to work long enough or, you know, whatever. But there's also that specialty tag from Santa that, that they have back there, you know, and it's how they track the packages. Yeah. And you could scan that and it'll tell you whether Where it was that package delivered was delivered. And, oh, some yeah, cool stuff. Yeah. We even had a thing last year that we did with that too, where we had those packages. See these packages, they they these tags, they disappear after it's been delivered. Yeah. It's magic. Well it's it's it's, it's Santa North magic. Pole, North Santa Pole magic. Christmas yeah. magic. And, but see some there was a problem at the workshop last year and some of them didn't quite happen. So some kids got to see those last year. It was crazy. But, um, mm. yeah, yeah, so that happened last year. But those are in here, too. Yes. I just want to talk okay. about that. Okay, <laughs> so, Paula asked, are names Sean and Marianne? That would be awesome. Yes, actually, first page, written by Sean and Marianne Donnelly. But we will sign it, of course. But we'll sign it. We yes. will sign it. And Okay. Panic D magic. <laughs> Panning the magic. That's right. All right, so just a couple little quick annum announcements. We did start season two on Panning D videos. We covered two locations already. We did the uh, Farnsworth House, and we did the Spanish Military Hospital. Mm -hmm. So if you guys didn't check those out, those videos are out there. Marianne did a recipe from the Farnsworth House. I did, and yes. I even went in and wrote some comments today. Did you? <laughs> wow. I know. Okay. Um, coming up. The next three weeks leading up to Christmas, we are going to be covering some Christmas-related locations. And since you guys are here live watching us, you're going to hear the announcement. Here are the locations that we are covering. We're going to cover Castle Noel. If you've never heard of that, very cool place. It's a museum mm -hmm. that has... Um, 40,000 square feet. Yeah, props from Christmas movies. It has props, yep. It's right here in Ohio. Mm -hmm. We've been there twice, mm -hmm. so we're going to cover that. Can't find any paranormal claims for that place. But we're going to cover it anyways because of the holidays. <laughs> Hopefully I don't tick people off. But, you know. It's all right. It's a cool place. It's it's Christmas. We're also going to cover Landerman's Mill, which is right around the corner from us. We went down there for their Christmas. Pretty awesome stuff. There are paranormal claims mm -hmm. there at that mm -hmm. one. And then the third one that we're going to cover the week of Christmas is... The Christmas Story House. I hate that movie. She hates that movie. She's the only person in the free world that hates the movie A Christmas Story. <laughs> However, we did go to the house. We did. There was a little hint about paranormal stuff, but we'll talk about that in the videos. Yeah. So that's next three weeks. And it's going to be pretty cool. So leading up to Christmas, that's mm -hmm. what we got planned. That's what's going on. All right. So, t -Town Mary Ellen says Santa's house. Uh, the Christmas Story house is the one from the movie The Christmas Story. Yes. That's not Santa's house. Um, Castle Noel, it's sort of Santa's house. Yeah. Mark Claus yes. owns Castle Noel. He actually legally changed his Joy, name. Joy, high Mark five. <laughs> Joy says she doesn't like that movie oh, either. Joy hates that movie too. <laughs> I Sorry. knew I I knew I liked Joy. <laughs> Sorry, Joy. I hope you watch the videos though. We're gonna one of the videos is gonna be the story behind the leg lamp that you guys see out there. Uh, it's gonna be kind of cool, but hopefully that doesn't deter you from watching our our videos. Um, 
can we like finish this off here because this is the last thing and then we start the show and start talking about our topic okay okay all right i'm with you you're up you ready okay all right (laughs) folks it's that time for marianne's ebay update Well, I know with the holiday season, everybody wants things off of eBay now, but I'm actually shortening my eBay piece purchases during the holiday season. So I'm going to interrupt can... you just for a second. Why? I'm going to take off our scrolling thing. If you guys see there that we have some issues with this computer, that scrolling text, I'm going to go back to the main camera. So uh, we do have plans to replace this computer, but okay, go ahead. So anyways, I'm just getting littler, tinier things right now coming in from eBay and some Christmas presents, but you know. But uh, what I have today is for one of our upcoming episodes, we have Lanterman's Mill coming up. And I just so happened on eBay to find a postcard sent and mailed in 1905 for our Lanterman's Mill right here in Youngstown, Ohio. Should you really be touching that with your bare hands, by the way? I'm touching the edges. Oh, she's touching the edges. (laughs) Yeah, so 1905. I I thought that was pretty cool. That is cool. And it's interesting what it says. It says on there that there's not much room to write, which they didn't really use the back much. They literally just put the address on the back. Um, But it says there's not really much room to write, so when they get a chance, they'll tell more about what they learned about Youngstown. (laughs) I thought that was kind of funny. So that is my purchase for today. All right. Well, I think that's about all that we have for now. But if you guys want to are interested in that book, bring that up again. Uh, Google Slides, Google Slides. And UEA, by the way, which is the hashtag that they're going to use for this, that stands for the United Elves Association, of course. That's right. So that's what you got to do. You got to go and follow <laughs> us on Patreon. You don't have to pay to be a supporter, to follow us. I just want to be clear on that with YouTube rules. You don't have to pay to enter. Okay? Just be a follower. Unless you want to pay, but you don't have to pay to win that book, okay? So follow us and then reply to that public. It's a public post. That's all you got to do. All right. Well, Polly okay. and uh, I forget who else, the lady vamp are saying they have some sort of issues with Patreon. It won't let them. So I don't know if there's something wrong with it or if it's something that they have on their end. I don't know. Private message me if you could DM me and Twitter, and we'll see if I did something wrong. If while Mary is talking, the, I will this look is at the, it. This is the first time you've done that yeah. part. So. I will look because I thought I had Patreon up. All right. Oh, yeah, it's right here. I think I posted it What's publicly. That? I don't know. Anyways, uh, Paranormal Heart wants to know, where in the world would you investigate if you could go anywhere? And I'm still wanting to go to Alcatraz. That's one of them that's on my list. I would like to go there. Hmm. Yeah. Happy Trails did it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. DM me and we'll get that figured out. I don't know why it's not working. So I got Happy Trails did it. Yep, I see that. By the way, hi, Happy Trails. Hello. (laughs) Hello, hello, hello. It's kind of weird, like, being the other side because we're always on, you know, going to, yeah. Yeah. I'm out of practice. I know, I don't know. What right? are we doing now? I'm like confused. I'm trying to catch right. up in I the chat, to see what's going this. on in, in the chat here. All right. Get caught up on chat, and I'm going to find that. That's what I was looking for. All right. Nature Nerd Outdoors, Polly, Summer Bishop. Let's see. Who else? Thank you guys came for stopping later. by. I yeah. really do. You know, we missed Lady you guys. Vamp. We missed all you guys. This is really, it, it's really. I like doing this, but I'm not the kind of guy that likes to just go live to go live. I want to have a point and a reason to do it. That's why we kind of did one day a week. Sometimes two if we do the Thursday. Um, but 
you know, we wanted to have something to talk about if we're going to go live. That's right. It takes a little time to, you know, prep for the show, but uh, we had a crazy day today. Actually, we've had a crazy since we've been live. You yes. want to go over some of that stuff? <laughs> since ClueTube, since Halloween. Since ClueTube. Oh, so many things. We've been out to San Diego. Yep. Uh, we visited a whole bunch of places out there. Um, 22 new locations that we'll be able to do videos about from San Diego. Yeah. We uh, did, uh, we put together uh, the big craft show, Muffins with Mrs. Claus, Holiday well, auction. We went to San Diego. We worked on that that craft show for a little bit. Then we went to San Diego. Then we came back and had a week to work on it some more. Then Thanksgiving. Yes. Then the big show was last weekend, which was, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's draining. And then today, I had uh, I had a booth at another craft show. We did photos with Santa Claus and Marianne had ACT. And we think somebody flattened the tire at the ACT because she calls me. I'm taking pictures and processing pictures, and the tire's flat on the car. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that was today. Then we rushed home, got everything ready, and now here we're we here are. with you. We yeah. did it all for you. Crazy, crazy, crazy yeah. life. But yes. I don't know. If we keep the energy up, we may have dinner when we're done and put up our other Christmas tree in the living room. We got one up. We got one more. Oh, we got two up. We got we got Boris got his tree up. Yes, he's been he's been busy. Boris is in the Christmas spirit. He's got his tree going. He's got his rocking Santa his suit tree on. He's rocking his suit, his little cute little suit there. He looks so cute in there. <laughs> Halos and Heathens has joined us before they're getting ready for their podcast. Hello, Thank you hello. For it's been a by. while. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate I saw it. your little tree, Happy Trails. Happy Trails has one of those. Tiny I see that little... over there. Love the kiss shirt. That's right. That was from their last, like, we're not going to tour anymore. Tour. Tour. <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah, that was last time. Yes. But now they're torn again, but I probably won't see them again. Marion got me that for uh, the concert. We went to the concert for my birthday and her dad's birthday here at Cavelli Center. They were here, and we were like, I could have probably threw something and hit Gene Simmons. Yeah, That's they true. were they were awesome tickets, and had to get you know you have to get a shirt if you go to a concert. So I guess you do. I don't think I've ever gotten. She's it. not into it. No. No. Can we but do, I but I have on, with the show, but I have on my Saturday Christmas end? NORAD one, and that goes along with one of my holiday traditions. NORAD tracking. All That's right. right. So let's talk about Christmas traditions. All right. So how are we going to do this? Are we going to talk about ours or have them tell us their? Well, they can start telling we us We just ask theirs. them questions and we get yes or no I want to tell them about some of ours, too. Okay. So we'll ask you to start putting some of your traditions into the chat and we'll kind of bounce back and forth. All right, so let's start off with this. What is the number one important tradition that your family has for Christmas that you carry on? Put that in chat right now. Just the number one important Christmas tradition. Okay. And what's yours while wow, they're putting that in chat? <laughs> well, see, we have so many, but I think just making sure that we're all together for uh, a meal for the holiday, I think, is the most important tradition that we've kept. There's all kinds of little little ones, but you said the most important. So That's I think having everybody important. together. Being yeah. able to see family. Yeah. Spend time with family. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good one. Are we getting any others? No, we got bottle, bottle caps, caps telling Paul to shut up. Eating pie. Well, that's Eating a good one. Eating pie. Mm-hmm. 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 So, what are some uh, some other traditions that you had growing up? Maybe not necessarily your most important one, but what did what did you have growing up? Budget bushcraft's got an interesting one. <laughs> Polly says food is the best tradition. No, I'm with you. Being with family, absolutely. Playing the Neil Diamond Christmas CD. Ooh, the Neil Diamond Christmas CD. That's a good one. That's a good one. So we always, when I was a, a kid, we would um, 
we would go to my grandma on my mom's side. We would go over her house for the Italian fish extravaganza. Yeah, so Marianne's family it does the, that's Christmas Eve. That's right? Christmas Eve. Does the Italian seven fishes on Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. So we would go over there and do, and do the fishy thing. Mm-hmm. And I was never really into fish, but grandma would make like the, you know, the pasta and I would pick out the little, sh- the little tiny salad shrimp that she stuck in there I definitely would never eat the the squid and stuff like that it was not my thing Uh, but then when we finished that we would go home and my grandfather and grandmother on my dad's side which is our Slovak side they would have had a Christmas Eve dinner that we had kind of at lunchtime usually most of the time because my dad uh, had to work so we would go, we would wait for the phone call from them. When they were done with their dinner over there, we would all get in the car. We'd go over to their house. We would open up presents with my dad's side of the family. And then we would come home and we would get ready and we would then go to midnight mass. And then we'd come home and make sure everything was ready for Santa. Let out his cookies and milk and things like that. And then we went to bed. And then we got up like super bright and early. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, see, my grandmother, Donnelly, didn't live around here. She lived down in Steubenville. But as kids growing up, we always went to my grandmother, Johnson. So, uh, Kay Johnson in her, her mother's house. Um, that whole family went over there on Christmas. Mm-hmm. That was a tradition. Every year, because she, um, Grandmother Johnson cooked the turkey and all that whole thing. And then... Afterwards, we would go down to Steubenville um, to visit Grandma Donnelly. I remember one year they were up here uh, for Christmas. But I think pretty much my mom could chime in. Um, But my grandfather Donnelly died when I was young. So my grandmother Donnelly then started coming up here. But kind of like the same thing with the grandma's house. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing. So then like... uh... All the family got together. When we would do the, the Slovak side of the family, we would uh, we would light a candle mm-hmm. and we would pass it around the table and you had to blow out the candle. And if you blew out the candle and the smoke went straight, that meant you were a good person that year. You were a good kid. You were a good adult. Like you were good. But if it, but Pressure. When, but but if it was wiggly wobbly or like all over the place, that meant you were bad that year. And so maybe you wouldn't get as many Christmas presents and things like that. It was really, and then we would everybody would go, ooh, ooh, oh, it's wiggly, you know, like it was. So would hilarious. you go? To, would you go? I wasn't paying attention to you, to be honest with you. But <laughs> would you go to your grandmother's house on Christmas Day after you opened gifts? Is that what you said? Or that was Christmas Eve? That was Eve? Christmas Eve. Those were both Christmas Eve. Then Christmas Day, they would all come to our they house. They would come to your yeah. house. See, that's the part when we were kids that sucked. Sorry, Mom. It sucked. <laughs> because we would go to Grandma's house on Christmas Day. Okay? Now, let me paint the picture for you as a little kid. You got up. Santa came. Oh! You get all these new toys, everything unwrapped, and it's like, okay, clean up. We've got to get ready to go to Grandma's <laughs> house. So then all day over at Grandma's house, you know, you're like, I want to go home and play with my new toys. You know what I mean? That's the only thing. That, that kind of sucked. But then you got new stuff over at Grandma's, and then, like, then you went home that night. But you're, like, drained anyway, so it was, like, the day after Christmas. You got to play with your toys. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> We would have everybody come over our house then on Christmas, and my mom would have like the whole blurry? basement. I don't. Are we? Oh does yeah, it look blurry yeah, there? it does look blurry there. Why are we blurry? I don't know. It's like the camera went out of focus. <laughs> Get up closer. There. Huh? Is that better? No, it's not better, is it? Well, I'll see if I can fix that. But keep on talking. All right. So anyhow, how like our whole basement would be filled up with like tables and everything because literally everybody came over uh, on Christmas Day for Christmas dinner. And um, so we would get up real early in the morning. We'd have our, you know, Christmas presents and things like that. And then everybody would come over and we would basically eat for hours. <laughs> like It was always like 
people would be stopping by if they didn't come over for the dinner portion they came over later and had cookies and coffee and it was just a whole big old day all right so get caught up on chat there let me see why we are blurry all right very good um let's see here uh let's see here i saw some of them start coming in let me see if i could find the ones that we're doing that I'm a little I went back too far in the little thing sorry folks uh, let's see here we put different slices in pans and you have to eat the pie you picked blindfolded that's kind of interesting so that's joy so she was the one they eat pie so she says they like put a whole bunch of different slices in a pan and then you have to get blindfolded and pick it and eat which one you got Hmm. I would hate it if I didn't like one of those pies, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bottle Cap says he hasn't done Christmas in over 10 years. I told him he needs to get on that. Christmas makes you happy. Makes you a nice, sweet, kind person, right? Of course. Uh, Budget Bushcraft says that he breaks out Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra CDs. Yeah, buddy. Who said that? Budget Bushcraft. Yep. Makes things for the family and then does quiet crying remembering good old days. So if you're a big Dean Martin fan, those of you who know Dean Martin, I was born in Steubenville Hospital, Steubenville, Ohio. That's where Dean Martin is from. I'm a big Dean Martin fan. Yes, you are. He's from Steubenville. Same place where I was from. Dino. Uh, Teresa Gregory said they start playing Christmas music November 1st. Um, they haven't really set too many new things up with their fiance and daughter because they move around. They've been moving around too much, but they do start playing Christmas music November 1st. Uh, what else we have? Halos and Helens does the Neil Diamond. Uh... I know Happy Trails doesn't uh, put up a Christmas tree. She just has that tiny little one that she was showing off the other day on her stream. She needs to decorate more. She says she has plenty of decoration, but she just doesn't put them up. I think she should put them up this year, don't you? <laughs> wow. <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> Teresa Gregory said as kids they would go uh, to Christmas Eve service and then opened one present. Then if they got up before their mom, they were allowed only stockings, then presents, and dinner with grandma. Um, let's see. <laughs> Bottle Cap says it's even hard to make Christmas videos now when you don't celebrate it anymore. Bottle Caps, dude, you got to start, you know, getting back with the Christmas spirit. We're going to have to call you Uncle Scrooge pretty soon. Huh. I don't know why the camera went blurry. I don't know. Is it better? Uh-uh. No? Well, no that's put your hand up there. Good. Move over in the middle. Can you get closer? When I get closer, it just gets dark and black, and I don't think it can see it and huh. register it. Sorry, folks. I don't know why the camera's blurry. That hasn't happened before. <laughs> Polly, Are we blurry to Polly, you guys? Polly says, I said to speak to the hand. <laughs> yeah. Is, is it blurry for you guys? It looks blurry for me on my I don't feed. care about you. <sighs> see. Uh, Summer said, Sean, you should have done what I did. I packed up my toys and took them to my aunt's house. Turn off the red light. Maybe the camera will work better. All right, so change it to blue. Let's see what happens. No. All right, keep talking. I'm playing. Okay. Anyway, so did you hear what I said about Summer? I'm listening. She said that she, you should have done what she did. She packed up her toys and took them with her to her aunt's house. Then they ate and played with her toys. Uh, Happy Trail said, on Christmas Eve, we go to church and then have Jesus' birthday cake. No other big traditions, just being together. That's pretty cool. Uh, budget Bushcraft, we always did an extended family thing the night before. Uh, and then 
take stuff home so Christmas Day they could break and rewire everything. <laughs> Bottle cast, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Lady Vamp says this is the first year they're not doing anything really. Aw. Well, you'll have to do something. At least put up, you know, a Christmas tree the size of Happy Trails. <laughs> Happy Trails. She's gonna she's gonna be like very seriously. Quit on me. Why are you being so mean? Sid, do you have any uh traditions down down there where you are? I agree, Paranormal Tech. Christmas can be a sad time and a happy time. I always like to look for the happiness and the and the kindness. That's what I like uh, to deal with with the holidays. Summer said that they got a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Sid says not really. Don't really have many traditions for the holiday season. Uh... <laughs> Bottlecast says, I like going shopping at Walmart this time of year. As soon as you walk in the door, you can smell the stress. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. I think I am caught up in the chat. If I missed anything important, any of your traditions, um, please make sure that you let me know again. Lady Vamp said that they sent out some cards, and maybe they can make a tree from the ones that they get. Well, that sounds wonderful. You don't really have to do things that cost a lot of money for the holidays. Um, gifts aren't really all that important. It's that spending time together. I like the eating together. Everybody's there chit-chatting about what's going on in their lives and just trying to remember things from the past. That's the best part of the whole thing, the eating all that food and spending time with everybody. Um, the late toy show story. in Ireland is their Christmas, says Paranormal Tech. I guess I could bring <laughs> Chad up too. And Happy Trail says, I like my little tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, Boris got a little tree. Boris's tree is like 80 times bigger than, than Happy Trail's tree. Oh, okay. <laughs> Happy right. Trail's tree is smaller than, than Boris's tree topper. All right, so let's talk about Christmas trees. Those of you who put up Christmas trees, when do you put up your Christmas tree? Mm. Leave that in chat. Okay. What is the tradition of when you put up your Christmas tree? Okay. So, hey, Liz and Heenas, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it very much. Yes, thank we you. We need to Have come over and see show. you guys, yes. visit you guys at yes. some time. We're, we're hopefully we're going to be winding down, and be able to come around and visit people more here. Pretty soon. Yes. Um, me, I like to put it up Thanksgiving weekend. I like to have the tree up that long weekend, everything decorated because we're busy. Mm -hmm. It's like the weekend after is a craft show. We got three craft shows, three weeks in a row, then a week off, then Christmas. Mm -hmm. And normally something like that for us, we got to do it on a weekend. Because by right. the time we get home from work... I'm too tired. Yeah. I mean, we got to be at work at 7.30 in the morning. We live 28 miles away, you know. And then a lot of times, like this time of year with interims and everything else, you're working over late. I got stuff going on. We get home late and we just chill out and go to bed. Yeah. Plus, you know, we, so. we work with all the kids getting everything ready for the different events It's and dark when we and... go to work. It's dark when we come home from work. You know, so weekends is when we have it. So I like to do it then. We didn't make that this year. So we're going to yeah. have to yeah. hopefully yeah. maybe tomorrow, tomorrow get it done. Tomorrow. Because if we don't, then what's actually the point? You know, yeah. because we'll be taking it down. Yeah. So Halos and Hina says they decorate uh, and put the tree up the Saturday of Thanksgiving weekend. Hello, Steph. Yeah, Steph's here. Um, so when did when did you say you put yours up when Thanksgiving you were little weekend. Thanksgiving weekend? I think mom, is that right? I think we put it up. I'm pretty sure we did. So when I was little, we would decorate the entire every every 
square inch of the house would basically be decorated. So we would do the entire basement and deck it out before Thanksgiving. And uh, we would have the door closed to the basement. Yeah. Didn't anything? work. No? Okay. So anyways, we would have the door closed to the basement. And then we would um, have the upstairs with all the turkeys and everything for Thanksgiving. And then after Thanksgiving dinner, my mom would go take the turkey off the front door and put it put a tree up on the front door and then we would start decorating the upstairs and then that weekend we would go and we would get a live christmas tree and put that in the living room and um give it baby aspirin we didn't do live trees for a long time i don't know mom if you're still here do you remember the last time we actually did a live tree it was a long time because because you're allergic to pine well i wasn't at the <laughs> time as a kid but now i am allergic to them I, it's I can't breathe around them there it's that pine it's that's a different story but um but the, the, your parents still don't do a live tree though do they no they stopped getting a live one probably about which that would be a next question ago, i want to ask you guys those of you who do put up a tree is it live or artificial mm -hmm. budget cook sean creepy i could see through your hand well that's how my hands are <laughs> <laughs> that's funny here we go <clears throat> my mom says we would put up a tree and decorate thanksgiving weekend as a family okay. yeah i know we did yep. i remember one year i i was in i wasn't it like i was in trouble but i didn't i wouldn't wasn't really allowed to decorate most of the house i was kind of i had to write it essay on a book so i had to finish reading i had to finish reading i don't know if you guys book. have heard the story before about my <laughs> wife when it comes to her being a student she she is the ultimate procrastinator oh, yeah. i don't know if you guys heard that story when we started dating <laughs> and i was going over and i was helping her dad and her brother do the deck on the back of the house and i wanted to go out take her out to dinner yeah and she had a paper due and i think you're you were working on my, your master's it was my master's yeah, yeah she was working on a paper and she was in the office working on the paper while i was outside and i come in to check on her hey you ready to go to eat well and i you know one paragraph done <laughs> and then she'd be out fluttering around not doing anything so finally i duct taped her to the <laughs> chair so she couldn't get up until that paper was done but you got it done i did get it done i did get it done but i remember we went to eat but i definitely remember the christmas <laughs> that it was like pulling teeth to get me to finish reading that book and write that essay on it and and i wasn't i i, I was not allowed to decorate most of the house <laughs> There's Gemma. Gemma. We're good. Gemma. How are you? How are you doing? Okay, so Teresa Gray says, growing up, we would decorate the tree Thanksgiving, e Thanksgiving evening after, after dinner, dinner. Mm -hmm. at Grandma's or one of the aunts. And Our trees have always, always been artificial. artificial. Okay. See, Mom, my mom is allergic to pine, so that's hmm. probably where we kind of got it from. I remember having a live tree, though. What a pain. Uh, did anybody else say they do live trees? Live trees? Man, uh, not yet. Uh, Steph said that sometimes it's a fat pine that fell down or a blue fake one. <laughs> Depends on their mood. Uh, Happy Trail says, I'm making some test cookies for Christmas. Uh-oh. Test and, cookies. Hmm. Does that mean it's, it's, you know, homework? Or are you testing them and we need test tasters <laughs> <laughs> i will volunteer as a cookie test taster at any time anytime oh man yes jimmy you haven't missed much we haven't been live in a long yes. time we actually yeah. went live two weeks ago no or two last week, week. No. Was it last week no it was two weeks but ago but it was over at her mom's house yes uh with annette the lurker yes that's, that's correct and uh we haven't been here live in a while and that's why i don't understand why the camera's not i'm gonna have to fix that because this is where we record our videos too. i know yeah i, I don't know I don't what's, know what's going on that, that's i don't know either how many videos and live streams we've done has never blurred out on us like that but. dark chocolate cherry cookies and they Ooh. need testers mm. yeah we'll be right over <laughs> 
Uh, it seems like a lot of moms here are allergic to pine. Budget Bushcraft says that well, their mom is pine. allergic to pine too, so they always get the fake ones. Yeah. Uh, we always we always had a li one live one uh, it's a in pain, the living though. room. You got to keep it watered and. Yeah, that if was cool. If you have cool. a dog, it goes and drinks in the water, and then you get. You know, to be honest, most of the time the dogs never bothered it at all. But we used to, we used to, I think, even fight over who got to water the tree, like because we got to climb underneath the tree and pour the water in that thing underneath, and it was like, you know, you're not allowed I, to go play with to, the tree. I but have then, to you know, admit, you're allowed I have to, to go admit something. If you guys have never done this, but when I was younger. I used to love doing this. I don't know what it is. It was something relaxing about it, okay? I used to love to lay underneath the Christmas tree and, and look, look up the up. center of it. It's cool. Especially when there was twinkly lights or things that were moving or whatever. I could fall asleep doing that. I couldn't do it now because I, I doubt I could get up <laughs> off the floor. And Marianne's, like, getting older, so, you know, I'd be stuck. But... Um, <laughs> I used to love doing that. Is that weird? Is that strange? What do you no, guys I think did in that chat? Too. Is that like, weird? I liked it when I was well, under there. Well, you are weird. That's why we got married. But um, what, do you, what do you, I don't know. Has anybody ever done that? I don't know. And also, too, I've changed our Nightbot stuff. So if there's spelling errors, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go back and check them. But I did them real quick. I don't know if I haven't been reading them. But, yeah, I used to love doing that. I, I, I wouldn't call it a tradition, but that was just <laughs> mesmerizing. You just lay under there and could fall asleep. Yeah. But I, I, it, was, it was cool to lay underneath there. It was. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, it was like just peaceful. It's like it shut down the world and you're just looking up in that tree and seeing all the lights. And, yeah. I just remember we always used to give the tree a baby aspirin and water and then every night we would baby give... Baby aspirin? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Gave it a baby aspirin in his water the first night. <laughs> it made him feel good and stay through the season. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's talk about uh, stockings. Stockings. My stockings. sister, if Joanne is still here, she is the stocking queen. My sister... Joanne, the stocking queen. Yes. She, when we grew up, my mom's like... Hey, maybe we, you know, just stop doing the stockings, you know. And my sister's like, no! Save a bottle cap, then. But it's very nice to get drunk and pass out under the Christmas tree. Nice bottle cap. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my sister was like, no, I want the stocking. She said, forget the rest of the gifts. I want the stocking. Yeah, we're kind of like to that to this day. Actually, we've come to the understanding, Marianne and I, we like get each other stockings stuff yeah you know but yeah, stockings are awesome yeah yeah my mom and dad never got presents for each other when i was growing up or anything so it was kind of weird like when i started dating yes my mom says remember when patches used to go up in a branch and go to sleep patches was a, our cat he used to climb up in a tree and just brrr, go to sleep okay weird nice. weird freaking cat but <laughs> But, uh, so anyways, it was weird when I started dating you because like I'd never done presents, like I'd never seen adults give presents to each other, but like, it's a big thing. Like it, there's a whole market out there for that, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's called, you know, <laughs> Christmas buying season. Yeah. And it's like the fourth quarter of all these major companies. <laughs> it's yeah. a thing. Yeah. <laughs> they just always bought stuff for us kids, you know? So... Haunted Trucking. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Oh, jeez. Get out. Kate from Happy Trails. They had a calico cat named Patches. Patches oh my gosh. was calico. Wow. We're like like some separate dimension. You know, it's like parallel dimensions. Mm -hmm. You know, those of you guys don't know, Happy Trails Hiking, her name is Kay Johnson. And my mom is K. Johnston, mm -hmm. just a T. That's the only thing that's And now you separates. both had calico they cats both had calico patches. cats named... Oh, that's just... <laughs> that's freaky right there. That's just freaky. <laughs> Budget Bushcraft says, oh no, she said, you. <laughs> <laughs> I really only dated one other person, really, before you, so... Then you got stuck with me. 
But let's talk about Couldn't like shake uh, her off. older, older traditions. Things that when we got older. Things when we got, we got older. Got, yeah. You mean since we've been together? Well, since you weren't a kid. Well, let's talk about since we've been together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's one of the church traditions that you, you and I do? We we go to. Okay. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Um, we go to uh, church on Christmas Eve after dinner and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. And then when we come home, that's when you and I have our, our Christmas, which yeah, is we Christmas stockings. Open our stockings, yeah. yeah. And then we pretty much pass out, go to sleep, and then get up and we go. The rest and... of the holidays. Yep. But Christmas Eve night is our Christmas. Mm-hmm. So that's been a tradition. Yeah. I can say that. <laughs> I can't say that Christmas lights outside, Christmas tree being up, and all that other stuff is. <laughs> I, I can't think of any other tradition. But. So a couple of years back, <laughs> what about five oh, years ago? Should we talk about the Christmas lights? Are we going to bring Christ- that up? Yeah, bring Are up Are we going to pour realize. salt in that wound? Yeah. Let's, shall we? Yeah. Let me tell the story okay, because ahead. I tell it correctly. You, you tell it wonderfully, dear. <clears throat> All right. So Christmas lights outside. You know, you know I, I used to, like, if you're going to put them up, you should put them up correctly right or don't put them up at all well marianne the day before thanksgiving is over at her mom's baking or cooking no you're making pies for for thanksgiving, thanksgiving. i'm making pies. yes yeah. so i used to always get upset when i put up christmas lights and i like take time and do it right and then like a couple weeks later you come out and like half of them are out or something like that and i just get ticked off so one year we decided we're going to replace all the outside Christmas lights with LEDs so we don't have that issue and everything. Mm-hmm. So this particular year, it was about seven years ago, right? Seven, eight years ago. Marianne went over to her mom's to, to bake, you know, Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. day before Thanksgiving. And, mm-hmm. I, and it was nice out. So I said, well, I'm going to go out and put up these new Christmas lights and surprise her when she comes home. Now, I'm a tech guy, so I had it rigged up with, like, remote controls and all this other stuff like that. So I was out there all day <laughs> long, up and down the ladder. Everything spaced out. And I will say, everything was pulled tight, taut, straight, everything, yes. like, too. The bushes, the icicle lights off the gutters, the whole nine yards. I mean, it was decked out. So when Marianne came home, it was dark out. And I'm like, hey, honey, I got something to show you. And I walked her out to the street, hit the remote. Boom, the house lights up like, you know. uh, The The Griswolds. The Griswolds, right? (laughs) I'm like, what do you think? And she goes, oh, I don't like those lights. Those are those purple LEDs. I, I don't like that color. So you know what? I kicked them off and I Never put out lights again outside for seven years to last year. Actually, I said, take those down. They're terrible. They're ugly. Take them down. I don't like that color LED. And I'm like, I I I was just outside for like eight and a half hours, like (laughs) putting all, but, 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 yeah. We, I like white lights on a house. You want them on there, you put them up For the holidays. We always had, we always had colors. We always had multicolored growing up. Not here. This house has always been white Yeah, growing up, it was always multicolored. I liked, I thought it looked very classic and crisp when it was all white. So I said, when I got a house, I was going to have them all white. So we had all white. You went out and got these new LED ones and they were supposed to be white. They're cool white, and let me tell you, cool white is purple. <laughs> so, needless to say, yeah. I think we went seven years with no lights outside. Yeah. Till last did. year. Yeah. Last then year, went I and went and got, got different ones, the, the other ones. So. Bottle cap says, tech guy, and I'm watching you through an ice cube. Well, why are you looking through an ice cube? Because you're blurry, and he has to use the ice cube oh. to, like, make it, like, refracted nicer. Well, <laughs> if I mess with it anymore, it's going to shut down the stream, so I'm not going to mess with it. So. <clears throat> Let's see. What else? We have um, people laughing at me, <laughs> which is fun. I laugh at myself, too. Uh... Steph Opal has a black and white cat named Harley Jennings. And Happy Charles, I thought you were going... Walks on two feet and wears a top hat. She said she needed 12 minutes, I think, okay. for her cookies. No, I thought she said she was going out tonight to hear her husband sing. Oh. 
She's making those cookies right now. <laughs> oh, she's baking cookies and stuff. Yeah. Soap. Yeah. Let's see. Um, there was somebody else who said something about having a cat, too. I was looking for it. Uh, I lost it. If I don't do stuff, like, literally right when it comes in the thing, in the stream, I, like, can't find it anymore. Because <laughs> I'm terrible at this. And then I'm like, uh, uh, I don't know, somewhere. Oh, well. So I did say that I had another tradition, and that's what my sweatshirt was about. Oh, okay. So yeah. Oh, you're right. You were you gave me the segue, and I missed it. I know. This is another tradition that we do. <laughs> okay, and actually, a couple years we took it a little bit farther with that whole book, the Department mm -hmm. of Offland Security. We have another website out there called talf.com. It's the Assembly of Legendary Figures. We had a Twitter account for Ed, 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 Edward, Edward Hinkelmeyer, Hinkelmeyer mm -hmm. who's the head elf, and we were tweeting and all this other stuff like that from the North Pole and everything. It was kind of cool. We might start doing it again, not this year, but maybe next year. Anyways, so her and I kind of like watched the NORAD Santa tracking. Mm -hmm. And last year we did a video on uh, uh, our channel actually mm -hmm. about it too. Yep. In case you guys didn't know, you can actually go on their website and watch where Santa's dropping off presents and look at the present count and stuff like that. So Marianne actually has a... Yeah, this is the anniversary for their... From 2015. Yeah. I think I have that sweatshirt yeah. too, don't I? Yes, you do. We got t-shirts too. Yes, we do. Because we're honorary <laughs> NORAD Santa trackers, but yeah. So that's actually kind of a cool story, how that all began. If you guys didn't know um we could talk about it in another live stream uh, leading up to christmas but there was actually commercials and stuff they put out there and do you guys know the story of norad santa tracking and chat if you do let us know uh if you don't we'll talk about it on a live stream that might be kind of cool yeah. so for me i started doing the norad santa tracker once i started teaching because my first year teaching I wanted something to do for Christmas, you know, so I bought this book. It was called The Science of Christmas, and there was a show on television called The Science of Christmas, and I showed it in my class, and uh, I had them do readings, and they kind of had to pull the science out and talk about it, whatnot. We but anyhow, do that as a live stream, too, The Science of Christmas. That yeah, might be kind of yeah. cool. So in the, in the book, there was this thing about um, NORAD, and then in the show on TV, there was this thing about NORAD and how they track Santa, and I'm like, what? You know, so I went to that's the website. How that's how it. I found out about it. And then every year since then, I've gone to NORAD's site. And back, I will say back 21 years ago, you know, it was really super, super cool. Do you still have the Science of Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me ask you guys in chat. If we're still here. We've got 13 people still here. Would you like one of our live streams that we do the Science of Christmas? It was things like, like how many miles of... Uh, garland they produce and how they do the candy canes and keep them from getting nasty and how fast santa would be going and all that kind of is that something you guys would be interested if you are in chat let us know by putting a one right now if you want us to do that put a one in chat if that's something you would like us to do as a live stream and okay. I think everybody left because I'm not seeing anything coming in the chat at all. <laughs> well, it could be that there they just don't want to see that. But uh, or it so could be. anyhow, if you don't want that, put a two. <laughs> there you go. Just so I can see the chat's still working. Are we still online? Yep, we are. There's a one. There's a one. one. All right. Okay. Anyhow, so uh, there's a as seven. I was saying, thank you, Andrew. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Any one of the options. And hello, by the way. Nicer. Long time yeah. no see. <laughs> but uh, I, I, pr I know that it's you know. We don't want to waste our government money, you know, making it and all that. But there's got to be somebody there who... Bob caps. I follow Santa Claus the door red tracking every year, but he never stops by my house. And stuff. That's because you by. stopped celebrating Christmas. <laughs> when you stop believing in Santa, he doesn't visit you. All right, so we got two ones so far. And there's supposed to be 12 people watching. <laughs> anyway, uh, so... I know that there's lots of people who, you know, there's lots of money that's being spent on, on things that they need to spend money on. 
and they really don't need to spend it on making graphics and stuff, but their graphics are getting really, really yeah. outdated. They're still using, like, the 1980 graphics. Um, it would be nice if there was somebody who would donate their services to make them some updated versions um, because they do this whole big thing, and they have this website and all this stuff, but yet the the video for the tracking that they still put out there every now and then when they say, okay, Santa's gonna, is being spotted here, the graphics are still like 1980, like video game type yeah. graphics. I wish they would update that. There's got to be somebody like us at our school, you know what I mean, that we do all these things at the school. There's got to be somebody that works at NORAD that's like us, that's like, hey, I, I do that in my spare time. Let me just update this for you. Well, we got two ones and a seven. So <laughs> we don't know what the seven means. Though, don't know right? what the seven means. <laughs> so I guess that's a yes so far. Okay. I mean, okay. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't. But that's matter. a cool topic. Yeah. yeah. We're, I know one that we're going to do is telling ghost stories at Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's going to be one. So maybe next week we'll do um, the science at Christmas. That'd okay. be kind of cool. Okay. We can talk about some of those. Yeah. The guy that narrated it is the the dude from Home Alone. Yes. That Joe Pesci's uh, partner. Yes. It narrates it. It's funny. It's really funny. You're like, wait, I know that guy. Uh -huh. Who is that? I yeah. know who that is. Yeah. It's the one of the wet bandits. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually kind of funny because uh, we were collecting coins at school. It, it, there's a thing that we do here um, and kid group, student groups, they go ahead and they collect coins for kids around the holiday season to, to donate anyhow um so we were collecting coin for coins for kids this week with the national honor society and the guidance counselor came down to do to donate some some coins he came he opened my door and he went to put it in and he's going like this and he's like shaking it, it, it with the coins so wouldn't come off hand. and i'm like i'm gonna call you the sticky bandit and sticky he's like bandit. what <laughs> and i'm like sticky haven't bandit. you seen the movie all right, so there's another question. Traditions. If you watch Christmas movies... What movie do you during watch? During the holidays, what's your number one movie that you have to watch every, every single Christmas. year for Christmas? Let us know in chat. Go ahead and put it out there right now. I know what mine is. What's yours? Christmas Vacation, of mm, course. Of course. What about you? You just watch whatever's I on like, TV. I watch whatever's on TV. I do like to watch that, but I like Miracle on 34th Street, too. Miracle, which one? I like the original one. The original one? Mm -hmm. Good to know. She very seldom tells me what she likes, so we'll have to watch that. The Grinch or Elf, Rudolph cartoon. Yeah, those are good. We actually have all of those. We um, do. We have TV all of ones, those ones. Those Rudolph and all We bought a compilation once a couple years ago. Bottle <laughs> caps. All the first in your commando. <laughs> Andrew Kitchen's Die Hard. Well, Die Hard series is good, too. That's all. So Happy Trails says uh, to check Twitter for the answer to the cookies. Check Twitter to the answer yes. to the cookies. Yes. So I'm going to have him check it because I don't know that. That's why I got it open. It's right here. I don't. I don't. I have Boris's Twitter, but I don't have um, me Twitter that I use. So let's see. If it's... Was that a personal DM? There we go. I didn't get a personal DM. Let me refresh. It's been open for a while. All right. So we have Steph Opal says Frosty the Snowman, the old cartoon. Still cries when Frosty melts. Have you guys seen that commercial? I don't even know what it's for, which is bad because that's like a bad commercial, right? But there's a commercial and a, there's like a, a little girl and she gets a snowman she builds and he comes to life and stuff like that and then she puts him in the freezer in her garage because he's melting and so she saves him and he brings him back constantly oh look at that that's so cute yeah, we'll, k we'll bring it up. let's see um, so brings it up, uh, every year opens it up. And then at some point she gets tired out and she's just working all the time and everything. And she doesn't open it. She just opens it up and he gets all excited and she throws something in the freezer and closes it. And he's like all sad. So I like cry on that commercial. Cool. There we go. There, there's Kay from happy trails eating them cookies watching us. That is awesome. So did they turn out good then? Well, I wish, you know what? Why are we blurry? I, I don't that. know. That's bugging the crap it me, is bugging you that's pretty cool Kay johnson says hallmark movies 
Uh, Christine says the Walking Dead Christmas special. Ooh. Alvin and the Chipmunks Christmas special for Teresa Gregory. Um, Bottle Calf says, how come you guys are not doing a live show making cinnamon bun pancakes? <laughs> cinnamon bun pancakes you could probably do live, but the cinnamon bun ones will take 16, 19 hours to make. The ones that she's going to do the video on. So that would be a long live stream. Let's say he's picked that one for I me. Picked I don't that. know. I picked it for bottle caps. He mentioned know. cinnamon buns. I know, buns, I saw and that. I love cinnamon buns. So I picked the recipe and she's going to do it for I might Christmas. Have to, I might have to do two because I really like my peppermint cheesecake. Well, we could do two. Who yeah. cares? We'll put two two recipes out. But the cinnamon bun ones, um, they look delicious yeah we've um, never had those by the way japanese, japanese lifestyle list. hello wow Sorry. He, okay <laughs> so japanese lifestyle uh on the uh, we have to work out the details but we may be going on their their live thing and he might be coming on ours um i think the 15th of december okay maybe do uh, hold stupid. on. Technical support. I problems. hate it when I do something stupid. I always manage to click on I gotta, something. I got to talk to him and work out the details. Okay. But um, cool. Nice to see you. Mrs. If we can. Ms. Kathy's making 15th. cinnamon buns yeah. Christmas morning. I just thought of something I was going to ask. Because I asked know? Andrew earlier. Oh, has anybody seen the new one on Netflix? What was that? The uh, Santa Claus Chronicles? Yes. The Santa Claus Chronicles. It's pretty funny, actually. It's pretty good. I was I was laughing through the whole thing. I asked Andrew earlier if he saw that. Um, if you have Netflix, check that out because I think it's a Netflix movie. Mm -hmm. And it Kurt is. Kurt Russell plays Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah. It wasn't bad. There was a couple things that I remember like were sad. The beginning of it was super sad. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, I never would have pegged Kurt Russell as a Santa, though. But he did a nice job. See, Japanese I saw it says, yeah, I saw it was good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good, too. When I saw that, I'm like, uh, okay. But when we watched it, I was like, I actually watched it twice in a row. It was like, uh, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, all right. Here's where we're at, folks. And this is what we're going to do with our live streams. Now, we... As long as my back holds out, which I'm okay, so we can go longer, or it's up to you, we can wrap it. We've been going for a little over, little an, hour over an hour. If you guys want us to keep going, um, put a one in the chat. If you guys are want Ready us to wrap it, on. we can wrap it. And if we're going to keep going, here's what we're going to talk about. I have some uh, 20 memory-making family Christmas traditions. We're going to go over those. And um, if we're going to go another hour, let's tweet it out again. Let's tweet it out. Put it back on, uh, you know, your social media. Let people know that we're live. If you guys want us to wrap it right now, we can wrap it. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. We haven't been live for a while. So I think that's how we're going to do our shows. We hit that hour mark. We can go another hour if my back will hold out. And I'm doing okay right now. So okay. um, it's up to you. If you want us to keep going, put a number one in the chat. If you don't, put a number two, and we'll see you next week. Okay. Why would I do that? The chat goes quiet. I know. They're like, oh. They're like, let me think. What am I? Yeah. Steph says one. There's a one. I just wish that it one wasn't One or whatever. So, I just wasn't. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't blurry. That would make me I, not I don't know. stay. It wasn't blurry when we started. Japanese lifestyle says one also. K says one also. All right. We'll keep on going. All right. All right. We'll keep bottle we'll caps, talk about these. Bottle things. caps gave us a one. 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 All right. We'll keep going because these are kind of neat. I want to talk about some of these. I was okay. reading them before we went live. Okay. Um, I can't show you guys pictures because, well, don't get me started. Let's I, I don't want to get started on Yeah, that, let's okay? not talk about we, that. We can't show you these pictures because of 
freaking goody images. I don't like that place. But anyway. Yeah. <sighs> All right. I guess we need to I don't tweet like it out I don't too. like the fact that they they take the have the rights to all these historical I know. photos. It's, it's historical photos I don't think. Not historical. Yeah. But um Okay. So you need to talk about something like I'm going to tweet out that we're still alive. I'm going to tell people that we're here. Uh, okay. okay. All right. So well, well he, he is doing that. Please remember that uh, Sean did post a thing in Patreon today for you to potentially win our book. Uh, so it was hashtag UEA on the post in Patreon. And that is our holiday book, the Elf Workers Union Handbook. So that you too could work at the North Pole someday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. What, wait, what are you looking at? I'm trying to remember what the link is to the live. Uh, oh, Titanic, okay. The video slash live, I think. It used to be. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is. All right. I'll check All right. that before I tweet it. Steph, I suck at tweeting, too. Mm -hmm. Boris has mm -hmm. dropped the ball lately. He hasn't tweeted lately. He needs to get back on the ball. Maybe he'll get Check back on the ball for the holiday season. Well, you think you suck. I closed the wrong window, so i got to start that tweet over again. <laughs> <laughs> I closed Twitter. <laughs> Good Oops. job, dear. So you got to say something else again while I do this over. <laughs> Good tweet. job. Uh <laughs> That's funny. You are amazing uh, at this, dear. <laughs> I'm going for oh, it. Steph Opal says, oh my. <laughs> oh man, don't I know it's All right, so um, I know that a couple years ago when we were doing our uh, murder mystery dinners and we were doing uh, the holiday ones, we, did, we never off to anybody at the holiday season no. it was just all kinds of issues that happened at the north pole and things like that but uh one of the things that we did was we had a whole bunch of christmas cards at the event and we would have like 250 people come to the event and then if they wanted to they could fill out a christmas yeah, card and we sent it to we sent it to the military yeah folks. yeah so that was that was kind of cool kinda, yeah <clears throat> We should probably do that at the craft show since we didn't do the holiday thing. But uh, we have an address. Actually, Mom ran that for us at the uh, mm -hmm. at the event. We have a a patriotic type Mail mailbox, box, and people yeah. we just give out the cards and let people sign them, and then we send them to uh, an address mm -hmm. for our veterans. That was kind of cool. Yeah. So. So that's just an <sighs> extra little holiday tradition. And yeah. You can you can send them too. All right, so um, this one, I think we all kind of, like, talked about it. It said, uh, start decorating the house on December 1st. I think we start the weekend of Thanksgiving. It's that kind of reminds me of that not movie. Not far away from December 1st. What's, which one is that? Deck the Halls? Is it Deck the Halls, the movie, where they have the, the decorating calendar? <laughs> The, like, advent, okay. the advent calendar where each day you're supposed to do something. Yeah. 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 Is that Deck the Halls? I, I think it's so. the one where they, like, he, him and With Danny uh, DeVito, Danny DeVito and, fight over who's got the best Christmas display or and whatever. And Deck the Halls. Uh, well, that's the next one. Special advent calendar. Um, we used to do advent calendars when Anybody I was do advent calendars? We used did you to used do. to do them? Yeah, we did. I don't remember them having like candy in them and stuff like that, like they do now. I think they were just words. I think they were just telling us stuff back when I was little. I'll have to ask my sister and my mom. I, guess, I know we didn't have candy in it. I know there wasn't candy in our advent calendar, but we would have one every year. See you later, there, bottle caps. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for coming and visiting us. We'll get on that whole uh. Cinnamon roll yeah. for you. All right, so these are some suggested um, traditions. If you don't do advent calendars, what they're saying is that, you know, you do that. And 
like you were saying that movie you kind of follow along with your family something every day yeah. that you do mm-hmm. that that's in Take that the family portrait, or you could probably make tree, your own sit down and ring. brainstorm and you know do it with like envelopes and each day mm-hmm. you open up a you know today we take the picture today we do yeah. the tree today we hang the stockings you know mm-hmm. that kind of thing yeah i think that'd be yeah. cool um, i like that idea ditch gifts all together and take a vacation that's pretty much what we did we're buying stockings for each other but we kind of like ditched the whole giving to each other and our little trip to san diego we treated ourselves <laughs> yes, we did. yes we did uh mm-hmm. and it was wonderful <laughs> it was wonderful uh so Instead of getting each other's stuff, as you can know, if Marianne wants something on eBay, she goes and buys it anyways. <laughs> and I'm kind of the same way when it comes to tech stuff. I want to go and buy it. So we said, this year, we're going to go out to San Diego in style. So we upgraded our tickets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's what they're suggesting. Instead of uh, giving gifts, you uh, family goes and takes mm-hmm. a vacation together. Of course, they're saying go to that Mickey place, Disneyland. You don't have to go there. Mm-hmm. You can go wherever you want. I think it would be fun as a family to go rent a cabin somewhere out in the woods and That'd be do fun. like an old-fashioned sit-down, you mm-hmm. know, kind of thing. Yeah. Teresa Gregory said they did have um, Advent calendars, and theirs was verses from the Bible from the time that Jesus was born. And I, oh, that's I think, cool. I think that's kind of like how ours were. Uh... Steph Opal, that's kind of sad. All right. Go ahead to your next. Um, Aww. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. My mom My mom had a lot of that kind of stuff that happened in December as well. And uh, now so. I had two people that passed away in December, too. Yeah. In my family. Um, okay. So this next one that they suggest is make a family holiday bucket list at the beginning of the month. And then what you do is you schedule time throughout the month of December to spend with family. To have that done. So you have all the family come together, you know, like there's go skating or build go see snowman. the lights, build snowman, bake cookies, whatever, and then you schedule those activities like a holiday bucket list throughout the day and then each person that's their day so that's if i'm cool. not mistaken <laughs> i know there seems to be a lot of people out in in the uh youtube zone that likes the hallmark christmas movies if i'm not mistaken there is a hallmark christmas movie from a couple years ago where that's exactly what she did she had a holiday bucket list of things she wanted to do and um, she was going and crossing those off the list. And the boyfriend that she had at the time, he didn't want to have anything to do with it. But she went in this little town, and this other guy went and did these things with her. And she was knocking things off her bucket list. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. for her holiday bucket list. Yeah, that's kind of it's kind of funny that they had that in this. That was a holiday Hallmark movie. <laughs> so Happy Trails Hiking says, "Oh, I like the bucket list idea. We should do that as a YouTube community. Yeah, Ooh. that would be pretty cool. Yeah." Yeah. All right. So this next one they suggest uh, is uh, shoe boxes. I don't know if you guys have heard about this before. We, yeah. I have. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you heard. Yeah. Um, but basically, you take your family out shopping and you buy enough stuff to fill up shoe boxes, mm-hmm. and then you use those to take to different locations. And we're a part of one in Newton Falls. That's why we did that event last last Week. weekend, mm-hmm. um, where it helps out. Um, uh, families in need so you buy things for the shoe boxes little things like toothbrush toothpaste you know that kind of stuff and uh wrap up the shoe boxes and, and take them but you take your family out to kind of show them giving back you know that kind of thing so mm-hmm. that's kind of cool there's that actually cool a, a company that does that now and you pay you can just you don't go out and do it you pay for people to uh, do that for you like you pay them a certain amount for the shoe box and you fill it up and then they find places to take them rocky and derrick show hello 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 okay happy trails go check those cookies yeah <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Uh, where are we at? Uh, gingerbread house. Make a gingerbread. We did that one year. We did. We bought a kit, though. Yes. It was a kit. But I purchased, and I have never used, um, cast iron gingerbread house form. Of course you did. And I, I've never used it because I always run out of time around the holidays and I never end up having time to make it. But I've always wanted to like make the individual gingerbread pieces myself rather than the kit. But I've never gotten around to it. Someday. Someday. Has anybody I'm ever got, made a, a gingerbread house from scratch? That would be... I would love to go down to Disney at some time and see them the gingerbread houses that ones. they make. Yeah. Or watch them making it. Mm -hmm. That would be kind of yeah. interesting. I used to make cookie trees all the time when I was in high school. I would make cookie trees and everything. And uh, I had one teacher every year who used to buy them from me. She bought them from me my senior year in high school, and then, like, every year after that, she would, like, call up the house and be like, hey, I need more cookie trees. And I'm like, okay, you know. I haven't made them in years, though, but I used to make them all the time, cookie trees, all the different size. I had, like, a ton of different size heart, uh, hearts, uh, stars. I used to work in a gourmet kitchenware store, and I could get yeah, whatever cookie wares I wanted. I hear about it all the time. And then I would just stack them all up. Now they have all these nifty little kits that help you do that and stuff. But I used to do it a long time. So here's another suggestion for a tradition that you could start or have: um, have a family slumber party. Ooh. Where you camp out, everybody, the whole family, like in the living room or mom and dad's bedroom, so mom and dad can still stay in their bed. <laughs> um, and you can uh, read Christmas stories, drink hot chocolate, whatever, but everybody like kind of camps out and has a slumber party. And then this is what was cool. And then uh, have a special journal that you can add to every year about certain things that you did. That's Make paper chains, you know, that kind of stuff. But so as a family. When so. I was little, we didn't do this at Christmas time, but in the summertime, we didn't have air conditioning. And so in the summertime, when it was like super, super hot, we had a little window air conditioner in my parents' bedroom and we would all sleep in there. And so have it was the same. We would, yeah, mom and dad would sleep in the bed. Yeah. And us kids, literally, there were three of us. So one stayed on dad's side of the bed, one stayed on mom's side of the bed, and I stayed at the foot of the bed. And so we would have, you know, it was funny trying to see dad walk around the bed to get out of the room to go, you know. To so work this also and that. says thread popcorn and garland. Did you ever do that? I never did. We did that one year, if mom's still here. We did that one year. And we thought, well, it's a lot of work. You know, threading the, the popcorn. And we thought, okay, we'll keep it. Oh, gosh, that sounds like a bad idea. It is a bad <laughs> idea. It is a very bad idea. Because the next year when you open it up, uh -huh. whoa, wow. Yeah, you can't keep it. So, yeah. But that's a lot of work, threading popcorn. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Do you guys ever do that? We no, we Garland. did not no yeah, you no can't keep we would we hung candy canes on the tree every now and again but we never threaded our own popcorn we talked about like doing it but it's not worth it it's a it's a one year deal we That's had a it. we had a string of um, garland that was plastic and it looked like popcorn we used to hang that on the tree oh. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Okay. Uh, uh, Steph Opal likes marzipan other. from Denmark. I used to sell like tubes of marzipan when I worked in the gourmet kitchenware store. I, I'm going to play stupid. I don't know what that is. What is it? It's like a, a really sweet, almost almost candy like cookie. It's just hmm. yeah. Well, I probably had it if it was sweet and cookie like. <laughs> probably had. It, didn't know what it was. Uh, okay, so here's another tradition, and, and I think a lot of people do this. They just don't call it a Your tradition. Your mom said it took a long time, but it looked pretty on the tree. It did. It looked nice, but the following year, it brr, that's going out. <laughs> it did take a long time. But um, Christmas movie night, you know, you just have a movie night. Everybody, you know, stay there and, uh, you know. Watch Christmas movies. See, I think that the movie night and the slumber party should get tied together. The holiday movie and slumber party. And then everybody should be in, like, matching jammies. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah. So here's another one. This is something we don't do. I no. think it would be kind of good. You know, fondue night. Oh. No, you're not into fondue. I don't like the idea of like people constantly sticking things back into the. No. You don't stick it back in. You don't double dip. Oh, you know people double. If people dip. double dip, they get thrown out of the fondue party. That's just <laughs> disgusting. You don't double dip. You dip it once. Well, that's the way it should be, but you know that's not what really happens. You know that's not what really happens. <laughs> so this one here got kind of long, so I didn't read the whole thing, but I kind of get the gist. It's called a garage sale gift exchange. And I don't know if you buy things from garage sales. It says they, they look forward to it every year, but it's somehow it's like a like you bring a gift to a party. Okay. It's kind of like it, when you were in school. Did you, when you were in school, did you take gifts for a Christmas party? Like you would bring a gift for a girl? I would bring a gift for a boy. I don't remember and doing that. you kind of exchange. You'd have a pick up one. We, I remember I going went, out when I was like in elementary school. I went to Catholic school, so we celebrated St. Nicholas Day. And we put our, like, my, we, they would make paper shoes. My mom was one of the homer moms, and so she made like 600 paper that shoes sense. one she time. Went to Catholic school. And so we did that St. Nicholas Day, and then we would have Christmas party or whatever, but it would just be like cookies and candies and stuff like that but we didn't really exchange gifts see that they're with me see japanese lifestyle never double dip yeah marianne of course i do not double dip yeah you don't double dip well you're not you supposed get kicked to out of the fondue what i'm saying you is you're not dip. supposed to but you know there's somebody's gonna do that and that mm, i just can't handle it yeah all right <laughs> so i think the idea is that they kind of go like to a garage sale and pick up things. See, I thought that's what I thought it or, was, but now they or, change it. Or that you, you take your, your thing that you didn't like you got last year and you put it together in a thing and then you get somebody else's gift, like a re-gifting exchange. Re-gift exchange. <laughs> a re-gift exchange. <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. I think we should have a re-gift exchange. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, goodness. So this kind of fits with us after the kids go to bed. Uh, I think if you had kids, after the kids go to bed, you're just like freaking exhausted. Well, after the kids go to bed, that's when you have to like build all the Christmas presents. <laughs> what are you talking about? Santa does that. Well, Santa and the elves sometimes bring you some unassembled things. Well, and we should they tell them what we're talking help. about. It says after the kids help. go to bed, have just you guys Christmas traditions. I think if you had kids, after they finally went to bed and went to sleep, then there's certain things got to get done. Then you got to get some sleep because then kids are going to be up at the crack, crack of dawn, dawn and you need some rest. That's just my opinion. So I I don't know that that, that works. <laughs> oh. We kind of do this at church. Or do we do this at our church? So, we used to do it. The the, the Christmas Eve uh, candlelight service. Do we do that? Do we do we candles? Don't, we don't have don't a remember. candlelight service. The the We used to have a, a whole slew full of kids in the church. And so they would come through and they, we would all have, we would be angels and we'd have a candle and we'd go up and we'd, you know, bring baby Jesus to the manger and all that stuff. But um, we don't have like a, I mean, you can go light candles. Should I tell them the story about the Christmas candle parade? But I do, have a, but I do have a can, but I, you can, but I have another Christmas candle thing too. So go ahead. Okay. So uh, we, <laughs> a few years back, that was after we were married, right? Yes. Yeah. A few years yeah. back, we used to be in charge of, well, I was the president of the Commerce Association. So it was my responsibility to put on a Christmas parade. Through the town. Through the town. Yes. Well, one year I got this idea that I would have carolers in the parade. And it would be cool to have a caroler just walking in the parade, caroling and, and carrying candles. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I was at the end of the parade, and Marianne was in the parade. She was caroling. She was mm -hmm. one of the carolers. Yes. And let me just say that they had a whole slew full of small children in this that they gave lighted candles to. Let's just well, go I wasn't with that. there at the time. So anyways, 
at the end of the parade, everyone gathered around the Christmas tree. Santa got off a fire truck, I think, and did his magic and lit the Christmas tree and all this other mm -hmm. stuff. So everyone's, like, gathering around the Christmas tree, you know, and I'm looking over at the guy that's going to do the elf, you know, Santa magic to light the tree, and I'm over watching him. You ready? Okay, good to go. And I smell this horrible smell, and I'm like, what is that smell? And I turn around to Marianne, and I'm like, where is that coming from? It's not the tree, is it? It's like this burning smell, and I'm like, she's just shut up. Just shut up. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, I kept it up. I'm like, and I'm like, it's, ah. it's me. Stop. <laughs> During the parade, she had bent down and one of the little kids' candle caught this and went, poof. But see, the good but news. But you couldn't tell. Her hair's like so bushy, you couldn't tell like part of it. So I'll tell this my side of the story from being in the parade where it was happening. So I was walking along, caroling with the kids. They gave these kids these little lighted candles, real lit candles. I don't know whose bright idea that was. I didn't say give them to the kids. Anyway, uh, they also gave them candy to throw because, you know, in parades, people throw candy. So they have these lit things and candy, and they're throwing it, right? And so... All these little kids on the side who weren't part of the parade, the they were running out into the street to get the candy because the little kids who were in the parade were literally just throwing it in front of them and walking over it. So I, I bent down to pick up some of the ones because this kid was getting yelled at like crazy and, and to get them some candy. And this other kid turns around with this, this candle and just took <laughs> out my hair. So I don't wear hairspray. So, thank God. Yeah, thank goodness, because that, that helped a lot. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, my hair's on fire. And so I'm just, like, patting it out. I'm keeping walking in the parade, just patting my hair out. And uh, this other lady, she's like, oh, my gosh, your hair's on fire. I'm like, I know, keep going. It's all good. <laughs> but when we got to the end of the thing, you were like, something smells. Something. I'm like, just shut up. It's me. <laughs> so the next day, I, I have so much hair. The next day I went and I got my hair cut. And I told the lady, and she's like, where was it at? Like, she couldn't even find where it burned <laughs> where because burned I had so much hair to start with. Yeah. So moral of the story, don't give live candles to small children in a Christmas parade throwing candy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so what's your story? Oh, so um, there's a there's a, a tradition that you light a bayberry candle on Christmas Eve as well. You light it on Christmas Eve, and you let it burn to the end. And then it's supposed to bring you good luck in the new year. Okay. But you do it on Christmas Eve, not New Year's Eve. And it has to be a Bayberry candle. Specifically. Specifically Bayberry. Specifically Bayberry. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Steph says get the battery-operated ones. Or don't give them to small children as it is. <laughs> All right, so this next one is Christmas Eve gift, gift box. Um, I guess I should have read it ahead of time so I knew what I was saying. Uh, so it's something they did every year that it was just a special gift after Christmas, uh, after church on Christmas Eve. So it's probably something that made the kids, like, be good at church, <laughs> right? <laughs> Your Christmas Eve box would include a movie, matching family pajamas. Yay! That's what you were talking about. I want about. matching jammies. Um, snacks, that kind of thing. So it's just a special get to open one gift on Christmas Eve. So that's another tradition that this family said that they did. I think it's just something that they made the kids so they look be good at church. Uh, here's another one. Christmas morning family photo. Everyone in their jammies with their hair crazy, surrounded by wrapping paper. They set the camera on a self-timer. There are some of my favorite photos to look back on. Marion's typing away mm -hmm. in chat. Yes, I am. You can answer people through the camera. I can answer people through the camera. Uh, they were saying, "Did you have you ever heard that Christmas used to be... I'll, I'll just delete my post then. I'll just say it. Have there you ever go. heard that Christmas used to be on January 6th? And uh, the, the idea is that uh, January 6th uh, uh, is Epiphany uh, when uh, the wise men got to the manger and actually got to see baby Jesus. 
um, it had been that long because they had to travel so long. And so that's the day. That's why they would celebrate it uh, in the Byzantine tradition on January 6th and not other dates. But it's my understanding they also do celebrate these kind of things on that date in other countries as well. Like Italy does uh, some good witch or something like that. Bethilda or Bethunda or I forget what the name is. Um, but that's on January 6th for them too. So th yes, there are some traditions that it is not on the 25th. It is actually January January 6th when do you celebrate yeah we actually keep our our tree our decorations up till after the 6th yes we do yeah <clears throat> yes and that's a that's a, a thing for us we always make sure that we keep it up until after the 6th but um it's hard with going back to school this year it's going to be easier but it's like once we go back to school it's like hard to get it and every everything all undecorated and everything but so is Byzantine Russian Orthodox? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we're Byzantine Catholic, which is Russian. It's based Russian off Orthodox. of Russian Orthodox. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So Christmas tree ornament. Does anybody do that? I know we did that the first couple mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. um, every year you get a special tree ornament mm -hmm. and put on your tree. Yeah. Um, you kind of still do that with your mom at her birthday. In yes. August, when but they I come still out give, from Hallmark. But I still buy little cheap ones for everybody every year. Yeah. I do. Yeah. But when I was growing up, we actually got one for our tree every year. And down in the basement here, in, in one of our other Christmas tree boxes, because we have Christmas trees for every room of the house, but we haven't put them up in every room. I still have all the ones that I got every year, and we would have the date on it for every year. Now the ones that I get, they're just... Christmas ornaments and I'm not dated but I get one I still do that I give people that every year the people at work everybody gets an ornament from me so some people are working on their 21st ornament from me yeah. all right so we got some new people let's see Cliff Cliff Riser hello, hello. hello, hello. and Neoblade Gaming hello welcome uh, I remember the one year was that the year we got Married? I can't remember. The one year we got married? No, the, the, where you made the shrinky dink ones. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, it was one of the first years. Uh, I went ahead and If you and caught I our live stream when we were them. with Annette the Lurker, she was talking about the dead people on the tree. Mm -hmm. Mary Ann made those. She took pictures of her uh, Family. relatives yeah. from out the year, and she found a place probably on eBay. No, it's just regular online. You, I literally remember went shrinky to dinks? shrinky dinks. Yeah, I think it was shrinkydinks.com, to be honest. You know, where you could print out a picture and then you bake it in the oven and they shrink. Um, so she did, like, family portraits and there's a tree over there with all of them. But some of them started turning black, didn't they? They get, they got, they, over the time, they've started to get darker and darker every year. And So, like, the ones yeah. that were dark to start with, they've gotten really dark. Yeah. Which is sad. But um, so Shrinky it's a Dinks, dead people, tree, dead relative tree. Yeah, but Shrinky Dinks <laughs> actually had has a special um, blank Shrinky Dinks page that you can purchase, and uh, it it can't go in a laser printer; it has to be inkjet, because of course Shrinky Dinks shrink when they get hot. But anyhow, <laughs> um, yeah, it would so probably really you, you print know, those off. Probably really mess up a laser printer. <laughs> I'm sure they would. Yeah. So you print those off and you cut them out and you bake them just like a shrinky dink like we had when we were kids. Uh, but this you can print whatever you want on it. So I printed my family and so I had all different pictures of our family through the years and different people for everybody. And uh, I'm trying to find. Why that are you bringing point. up shrinky dink? I don't care. I was just mentioning. Oh, it. You don't okay. have to bring up the web page. Right, I got you all excited yeah. about shrinky dinks. I yeah. don't. I was just mentioning because it was ornaments. Okay. All right. So, yeah, but shrinkydink.com. Shrinky which, by the way, Shrinky Dink, if you are watching, you can sponsor Panic D videos. And I'll show how you can make Our contact information tree is under the about the page. Holidays. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a video on how you can make Christmas yeah, ornaments for Shrinky Dink. What was really funny, though, because we, we did it once we got married. So, I did it here at the house. And watching our relatives shrink and curl on themselves and everything in the oven it was really an odd thing like it was really really odd i remember that some of them get messed up being oh there goes aunt molly <laughs> gonna have to redo that one yeah 
I mean, most of them, by the time it was done, they had uncurled again. Because that's yeah. how shrinky dings are, you know. But yeah. I was all, like, freaked out. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's going to be all rolled up on itself. <laughs> so uh, there was a Neo uh, Seth Opal super hug ritual. That's kind of fun. We could do we could do a fun fun sh- giant hug. Neoblade Gaming uh, is a retro gamer. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, he says if that's okay to say. Absolutely. Why wouldn't a retro gamer be no, a it's okay like, thing to it's say? It's like retro games. He's just saying like who he is. Like Pac Man and yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, that's like our yeah. generation. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Go did ahead. you did you play video games on Christmas Day? Like, if you got a new game, did you? I did. It? Cousins did. Atari, man. I remember. Got we new got, Atari games on Christmas. Where do you think we would we be? We got a uh, Commodore 64 one year for Christmas. It was a family gift. And uh, they got some games for it. And one of them was this game called Raid Over Moscow. Oh, I remember that game. And I swear, my uncle and my dad my uncle my godfather Mm -hmm. and my dad would sit at the kitchen table every christmas thereafter for hours and hours and hours trying to get out of the hangar (laughs) in right over moscow (laughs) that's funny there was a game there was a game my friend paul got for the 64 the commodore 64 that we literally spent two days like non-stop we didn't sleep to like solve it was called treasure island and it was based on the book treasure island okay so like we're like we're gonna finish this thing you know it was one of those things like i was writing like with the easter bunny thing uh-huh. like you turn left do this that yeah, kind of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. and finally it like got to the point where we, where we had to go get a copy of the book treasure island to finish this thing i remember <laughs> that i was commodore 64 that was good times man yeah. Yeah. So Neo Blade Gaming, welcome, 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 and and appreciate it. Actually, I want to make sure. I think I'm. I think, I think we, you are. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make sure. Um, Japanese Lifestyle said that they used to love the Commodore 64, and Happy Trail said they got an Atari for Christmas and they played all day on Christmas. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna mark it to go. Because for some reason, thank you YouTube, they turned the bell off on us. But I am. But going you're to still go, subscribed, right? Yeah, I'm subscribed. But I'm gonna go check out one of your videos and leave some comments. So didn't leave our bell on, which <laughs> you know, I I I don't know about you guys, but you guys are creators. But I remember stick, you know, this summer I remember seeing somewhere on one of these big guys YouTube things. Like, a lot of people are claiming I'm losing subscribers, I'm losing subscribers, I'm losing subscribers. But I remember this, but I don't remember where I saw it because I want to go find it again. However, what I heard was, if you subscribe to somebody, okay, Mm -hmm. and you don't watch or comment on a video in a month and a half. Okay. So, it's like 45 days. Uh Uh-huh. They'll take the bell off. Oh. Another 45 days, that timer... Another 45 days, they'll unsubscribe you. I remember hearing that. If I don't know if you guys heard that before or whatever. So people saying that they're losing subscribers, that's why. That's why. It's because even though you have subscribers, it's been a while. You know. So mm-hmm. I highly recommend every once in a while, and I try to do this when we got time, is to go through and you know Visit. support yeah. so it doesn't take the bell off and doesn't, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm just mentioning it. I'm throwing out there. We're not a YouTube how to promote your channel channel. But <laughs> I remember hearing that or watching that or something. So how do people I want to say have read, millions of subscribers? Read. They have millions of people who will go and watch their shows at constant, least once every 45 days. Yeah, and it's a constant. They're in that a logarithm where yeah. they keep their videos are keeping it. It's like a, a revolving door once you get up there in those big numbers. You know, your their videos are being pushed out there constantly they don't have to worry about that once you get those big numbers but when you're small you know if you're under 10,000 20,000 50,000 you're a small channel you've got to you know 
Anyways, <laughs> I'm not a YouTube how to grow your yeah. channel channel because I'm learning too. It's been a year. I still don't get it. <laughs> I still don't understand it. But anyways. All right. Back to where we're. Oh, I like this one. I think mom used to do this. I think that special Santa wrapping paper. We or did that Special too. paper that you would look for that special gift. Yeah, there would there would never be any paper that matched something that somebody in the family had. Mm -hmm. It would always be. It would be different every year because you know Santa, he has new designs every year. But Santa always has special wrapping paper. Yes, it was always different from the other wrapping papers. Um, the Christmas family photo. It's, it's a nice time of year when everybody's together. Get a nice photo of everybody all together. My family had a tradition, and they still do it, um, but, you know, the males in the families, they're always, you know, called the same name and everything. So all the males in the family who had the same name, they would always have a picture together. So... Um, mm -hmm all the generations of them would have that picture together on every every Christmas and every Thanksgiving. Um, but we do, the whole family too, but they would always have that special John's picture because they were all John. So that's a that's one that we do. Anybody else do a special family portrait like that? Where, like, uh, not necessarily the whole family, but a specific group that has a picture every year at a holiday. We did that with the Johns. Okay, so I'm getting, let's see. All right, so we're getting some YouTube questions. Okay, so Steph, um, I haven't seen any of your comments go into our spam. I, and I'm not a YouTube expert by no means, because I've been trying to figure this out for over a year. However, it may be, I have had some go into spam with a lot of emojis. I don't know. I don't know. I, I do know if you don't watch the video more than 30 seconds and comment, it may put it in the spam. That's possible. I don't know. I, I really don't know, so I can't answer these questions. I haven't had time to go and take that YouTube uh, thing, that academy thing, to be able to answer these correctly. Uh, Neoblade, I support uh, people as much as I can. I do too, buddy. I, I try to fit it in as much as I can and keep up with our schedule and real life and all that. It's Hey, being a YouTuber is not an easy thing. It's not an easy <laughs> job. And I tell kids at school, I'm like, what do you want to do? Because I have kids that come down and work in my uh, office on their study halls and C CBI program stuff. I'm like, what do you want to do in technology? I want to be a YouTuber. Uh, no, don't. Find something else. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, TWG saying... That's kind of weird because you're on all those channels all the time that it's that it's like taking the bell off and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's strange. I don't know. YouTube is just weird. I'm at the whole programming algorithm. You know, I program and I don't understand it. So, okay. Anyways, um, YouTube lies. Well, it's the program. The programming be behind it. It could use some work. It needs... I, I, I'm really... I am shocked, being a programmer myself, how the software is not, I mean, for YouTube, is not, like, top-notch. I, I, that just shocks me. I'll give you an example. Our playlists are messed up. I have a playlist called All Videos, and I learned this tip a long, a long time ago when they came out where they're showing your uploads on your channel will only show the the uh, most popular so i created a playlist called all videos because i want our videos to come out in the reverse order you know so it shows the newest one first because what i do is i take that and i embed that on our web page and our blog and stuff like that because we have people that come in and watch that way so they see the newest one that playlist is so messed up every time i post a new video to it i have to go in and resort it because the sorting is messed up. I have another playlist that doesn't show the most recent, the, the thumbnail of the most recent video. I have to go in there and put, every time a video comes out, which we do three or four a week, I have to remember 
to go and fix those playlists. So that's in the programming. That little thing like that as a programmer tells me that that algorithm and bots and all those little automated programs that flag people and all that kind of stuff, there's got to be bugs just in that tiny little thing. But anyways, hey, we have fun, right? Trying to figure out how to deal with it. I think, I think that's half of the fun that you guys as creators have, though. Just trying you to guys figure try it to out. figure it out. Yeah, because yeah. then once you get close, it's like, ah, I think I got it. Boom, they change it. <laughs> kind of like state testing. As soon yeah. as you figure out what they're, what they're exactly. dealing with, they it's, change it. It's, yeah. it's organic, yeah. dynamic yeah. type. Yeah, to keep everybody thing. on their toes all and the time. And will, it will drive you insane if you yeah. let it. Yeah, just so just don't, just let, don't it. let it. I quit watching our sub numbers months ago because it's like i think we hit 1600 like two months and we just kept breaking 16 and we dropped below and we went up and dropped below and you know it's like it is what it is i I, i'm to the point now where i want to get back to what we doing this for documenting our travels and having fun with you guys and that's That's what it is that's right something takes off great if not Oh, well. But Happy Trails and Mike, they hear me every once in a while. I'll go on on Twitter and I'll just vent. I'm like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. But, <laughs> but it's okay. It's you know, all good. It is what it is. Everybody needs to vent sometimes. All right. So I don't actually... There's a, there's some more of these uh, holiday traditions. There's one that I don't understand. That While well, you were doing the YouTube. Wah, 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 Sorry. Because I don't... I don't She's just a talent. Yeah, I just come in here and hey, once in a while I'll leave a message somewhere. I'll watch some people's stuff, but I don't. I'm not. I'm more of a voice. I just say, honey, we got to go live. Honey, we got to go do a video, yeah. and then she's in the bathroom for a half hour getting primping, getting ready to go. You no, it's lie. Not a half hour. You it's, lie. It's your nose is growing, minutes. Pinocchio. You take longer to get ready than I do. In the morning, I do, but yeah. not for a video. Yeah. Well, that's because. You don't put makeup on, but you're in the morning. You take how do they like know I don't put makeup on? Man, you're giving away all my secrets. He's just that beautiful. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I don't understand this one here. It's, it seems like it's a British tradition. Something about crackers. They said that they go out and buy crackers after Christmas every year, put them in storage with wrapping paper for the next year. Oh, crackers. I don't understand. We have, we have, okay. So, so Japanese my, Lifestyle UK, please explain to it. my wife what a cracker is. Because I had to look it up. Are you talking about nutcrackers? I think those are those things that you pop. I think those are called, you know those things? I think those are called crackers. Like New Year's pop things? I think. Oh. Or they're those things that kind of look like it and you put little toys in it. What? Okay. That's a British thing. What is it? What is a cracker? It's not like crackers yeah i'm thinking i'm no. thinking crackers you eat with soup you're you're buying them no, no. after christmas saving them for next year no, that's a different thing so <laughs> okay yeah poppers okay but what so, is a cracker is a cracker a popper saying not food poppers yes is yeah TW it's not the food cracker so i saw christmas crackers then i said they were storing i buy them after christmas and i store them and i'm I like Ew, I bet yeah. you those are nasty yeah. But no, it's something different. I think they're the, those little okay. things. They look like the poppers, but you could put little toys in okay. them, and then they pop open, kind of like a pinata. Huh. Okay. I think. All right. I think. I'm not sure. We have Japanese lifestyle. Who's a, who would be a British expert and could, could could explain, explain that. that better for me? He's but probably typing sure. a, a a big story for me. Um, so, do any of you uh, in today's day and age where they have like everything the kids have everything do you do you subscribe to the uh one gift that they want one gift that they need hello hello one thing to read dr cliff here because oh, i've seen sorry, that a sorry, lot sorry, of places i've seen sorry, that sorry, a lot sorry, of what, places what, what, dr cliff i just helped you out there buddy i've seen a lot of places that are, where people are talking about that they're doing that and um i think it's a kind of cool idea but at the same time if you're the only one like in that kids class that does that, they'll be like, "Oh, why is why do they don't?" So like Japanese me? lifestyle said, "Yeah, I, I yeah." <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, um, you don't see it that way. I'm not sure. I, I missed something. Somebody's talking to somebody else then. Okay. So does anybody do that? 
where it's one that they want. I've seen it several times, like across like Facebook and everything. People have been talking about that for like the last year or so doing that. One gift for kids, one gift that they want, one gift that they need and some and a book to read. That's the only things that they get for Christmas. Nothing wrong with that. One that they want, one that they need, and mm-hmm. a book to read. Mm-hmm. I, I would agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah. See, in today's lifestyle, where everybody just yeah gets so much excess, I don't yeah. know, like if they did that and they were the only one, they'd be like, "Yeah, I got uh, socks and a book." <laughs> you know, like well, you got one, gift but you that got they one that want. you want. But at the same time, too, if they, everybody did that, it would be really cool. And they go. would Christmas really appreciate. Cracker. Christmas cracker, also known as bonbons, are part of Christmas celebrations primarily in the UK. Or the, no. Okay, so, all right. So they're part of the primary, yeah, but what are they? I just saw a post that asked. Which parents to stop having sandwiches? Because the poor kids felt yeah, they had and that's kind of what I was kind of getting at. Like I think it's a great idea, but I would worry that they would feel like Santa didn't love them. Yeah. We had Christmas crackers when I lived in the UK, Cliff. Okay, so what, so what are, are they? they? What are they? Christmas crackers are also known as bonbons. Them. Are they food or are they something else? Because they said they buy them after Christmas. They get them 75 to 80% off and then they store them. Yeah, yeah. and if it's food, I don't want yeah, to go they visit food? them. <laughs> yeah, because that's kind of... We eat raw oatmeal with cocoa on top. Says Steph Opal. They are not food. They're not food. <laughs> and okay. Happy Trail says, what are they? <laughs> Thank you, Happy Trail. <laughs> I'm asking you guys. I mean, I could Google it, but we I'm could, asking you guys. But we, we, we feel you're the experts. Because, you know, if you Google crackers, what are crackers in the UK? Uh, you know you're going to get, like, Bozo the Clown and... <laughs> I have a question. I have a question for you guys. You know, Tea it, cookies. Especially you guys that go on Michael's stream and everything, you know, that whole strawberry Scones. ice cream. Do you like peppermint ice cream? Because we just scored some peppermint ice cream sandwiches that are... Yeah. They are awesome. And last we love year, peppermint And last cream. year, drumsticks. I love peppermint. The, like the, the yes. ice cream drumsticks. Those were awesome. Those were good. I had peppermint ones last year for that, too. I love peppermint ice cream. All right, so we've got people saying like scones or tea cookies. And you pulled in at okay. pull them at Christmas dinner. Japanese lifestyle. Japanese said they are paper with a bad with joke, joke in them and, and a party, party hat. hat. Okay, that's why I thought it was something kind of okay. like what we do at New Year's. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Stop. Steph says yes. Peppermint ice cream is awesome. I it is. It. It's so good. We had them last night for dessert. We're going to have them tonight, tonight for dessert again. We got we got barbecue chicken, and then we're going to have some peppermint ice cream. That's right. Yeah. All right, so that's all I have on that. And we got about four minutes, and we're going to wrap it up. Fun. Like in fun live stream. I miss you guys. Yeah, it was really fun. And I liked hearing Hope some you guys of the had things a good that you time. guys do, too. I know we weren't really talking paranormal tonight but it is the holiday season it's the holiday season holiday yeah. season Santa watch your copyright strike <laughs> twg7 i did get your tweet right before we went live about the caroling i'll be talking to you because as you just heard she's the singer oh twg7 is doing this thing where they're going around doing caroling and singing and uh i'll have to look on twitter okay. um but you would do we that. We should not have me, a party. I'm not a very trails. good singer. When I that's another tradition. When I was growing up, um, we used to everybody at the church. We'd all get on the school bus, <clears throat> and we would go to all the nursing homes and all the uh, bedridden people's homes, and we would carol in front of their houses or in their rooms at the nursing homes and things like that. I remember the one year I came home and I told my mom, I'm like, 
mom, I found the perfect place for you. When, when you need a nursing home, I've picked out the one I want you to go to. <laughs> like it was not meant to be, Hey, I'm mom, I'm sticking you in a home, but it was so, it was such a cool nursing home. I loved it. It was, uh, like the whole inside was done up. Like it was the outside. So every room, it was like different shingles and different, um, panels and everything to be, uh, like the, the like siding. Yeah. And then like in the center of the town uh, of the, of the place, they had, uh, the common room, they had a tree with a tree swing and a little pond and it was just so cool. I loved it. It was like a little town. All the, you know, the beauty shop was literally like the beauty shop. You'd go there and they would have like the mail room was the post office. It was cool. I think the last time you went, Carolyn, you caught your hair on fire. Yeah, so I haven't gone in a few years because that was the last time I went caroling. <laughs> Maybe I have some PTSD on the caroling. Yeah, yeah. All right, so coming out next week, we're doing Castle Noel. i got to make those videos now that I think about that. That's probably what I'll be working on later and tomorrow. Um, Castle Noel does not have any paranormal claims to it. No, None. but it's got a lot of stuff so in we it, won't have and it's a, in an old church. Sorry, Boris. Sorry, we won't need you next week. Ah, he's Poor okay. Poor Boris. <laughs> um, so that's coming out next week. And then next Saturday we will be live, I guess, talking about the science of Christmas. Okay. Next Saturday, Saturday live at 5. You're going to have to put together that presentation maybe or we'll work together on doing it and then i gotta fix the stupid camera i don't know why it yes. was blurry yeah freaking 4k webcam <laughs> piece of garbage i hate technology technology is the devil uh, <clears throat> we're on the phone now yes they went outside to uh gotcha yeah all right So you need to check out my new Louise. We yeah, were talking about maybe next summer or summer after heading down there mm -hmm. to New Orleans. Yep. I will keep you informed, Steph. Um, actually, Marianne's, how, or how's this work? Marianne's sister's, sister's boyfriend, boyfriend fiance, family. whatever he is, family lives down there. Yeah. And so we were, uh, we were gonna going to tag along with them and yeah. do a summer trip. Mm -hmm. We were thinking about it. We were talking about it, whether it's going to happen or not. Yeah. You know, I don't know. We were also talking about going to Fall River and going all kinds of places. We haven't really decided yet. Mm -hmm. But at some point, we do want to go down there yep. to Louisiana. That's right. Definitely. New Orleans. That's a hotbed. Hotbed. Mm -hmm. We come back from San Diego with 22 locations. I bet you we come back from there with. <laughs> be on YouTube, be, you know, even after YouTube is gone, whatever the new name is going to be. <clears throat> yes, happy trail hiking. Actually, see that C C V N P. I do. That's Cuyahoga Valley National, National Park. Parks, where the train is. Yeah, so they're going to come. They're working on it. We're going to. It's going to let us know. We're going to. How cool would that be to hook up that with Kay and Matt cool. over there and take the train and go up That'd to the, awesome. what's that haunted uh, village there? Um, the uh, uh, Hale Farms Hale village. Farms. It's one of the stops. And there's one, two, three, four buildings there that have paranormal claims. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That so would be cool. So two weeks? No, she's going to let us know in two weeks. Oh, okay. I was going to no, say, because no. in They're two weeks, they would still have some sort of Christmas oh, stuff up, too. Oh, you can do that in the spring. Because they, they'll go hiking. Or they'll probably go hiking. I'm not, I'll, I'll meet you there. The train stops. <laughs> we'll see how my ankle is. <laughs> I'd probably Find have a to, cooking class to take, too. I'd have to carry an oxygen tank to go hiking. She says we could go eat. <laughs> 
<laughs> she says we could go eat and then we could find a cooking class to take too. Right there, and you catch the train in Akron, Ohio, right where you catch a train. I think it's called the South Station. And well, I could tell you where it's at. But right around the corner is an awesome Italian restaurant. If you yeah. love Italian food, it is authentic. Mama Louise Italian <laughs> food. We get the lasagna there. It's yeah, like. It's not the name of it, though, by the uh, way. No, it's not the name of it. I forget the name of it, but it's it's like good stuff. Yeah. It's, it that, is. That's the kind of food I thought I was going to get marrying an Italian girl, but I got the other half instead. <laughs> she she proceeds to tell me three years after me. I don't like tomatoes. I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I don't like spaghetti sauce. I don't know. I'm like, what? I mean, I'll eat it, but I prefer yeah. not to. Yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, all right. Is that it? TWC7. Go caroling on YouTube with me, guys. It's much safer than the way... Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I'll have to explain it to her and show her the tweet. She doesn't do the Twitter account. Or Panic D Twitter. That's me. She does the Boris Twitter account. Yeah. So I'll have to share that with her and explain it to her. I haven't seen my wife all day. No. I she haven't. was doing ACT while I was doing Santa pictures. And then... Yeah. Stupid flat tire in the car, and we were dealing with that through texting, and yes. then we cleaned up, came home, and went live. So we haven't talked. Yeah. So we're gonna talk, I guess. We'll have to go do that as we maybe you know get stuff ready to for the next Christmas tree to go up. Yes, we're gonna do that tonight. I don't know, maybe get it done, right? All right, so we are over. We the are two over hour our mark. two hours. So I want to thank all of you guys for sticking around with us and coming. You know, our welcome Sharing back party, us. so to speak. Christmas traditions. It was fun. Yes. We're Had a great go, time. We're going to go eat dinner. Had a great time. We will be back next Saturday, live at 5 p.m. Eastern. That's right. Let's talk paranormal. We're going to do the science of Christmas. Mm. Yes. Telling tales. Yeah. I got to yeah. find a closeout. Oh, I gotta okay. I got to find a closeout. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, some new people that have joined us, thanks for coming along. Hope you come again. Those of you who've been around with us on our True Pair Peeps, we thank you for sticking with us, and we love having you. It was nice to see you guys again. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. If you want more Panic D videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that bell for notifications. Also, help support the channel by sharing this video with your friends and family and anyone else who might be interested in the paranormal. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting.